and here it is all wired in. Um, you'll notice here from the actual back, back of the box, uh, three, pin number three, up there you see, that's what they call three. Um, you can't see it too closely, you have to look really closely in on the actual embossing by the pin, but that is clearly number three, the black one is in fact the, let's flip it around just for the sake of easy reading, the three is the cathode, the negative side, and A is the anode of the LED. A being the anode, the positive side. And so there it is, the positive, because the red, as we already described, is the one that's coming from the plus five pin. So I've given just enough slack here that if I have to, this is the way it looks from the front. And it actually looks pretty, pretty nice. Um, my thought is that on my understanding of the switch, I wouldn't know because I haven't powered it up yet, but when you do this, it is engaged, and because the, the switch is connected, engaged, this light will go on, and that will indicate the drive is in use. And that also means that the jumper is in place, and because the jumper is in place, I can't change these choices here which will then show on the on the LED. So, um, essentially, while this light is on, you can't, these lights don't mean anything. Uh, at least you can't change them. So as this is off, you can now change these lights uh, to different um, fl virtual floppies, and then you engage the virtual floppy. So that's the, the idea here is that this is kind of metaphoric to pushing a disc in and popping the disc back out again. So, um, I'll just do a couple continuity tests to verify that my logic is correct, that in fact when it is in this position, uh, the switches are connected. And uh, I'm going to seal this box up with screws and we'll take it back uh, to where the XP80 is and we'll see if it actually works as advertised. Not a bad uh, couple hours worth of work though.